Hey, welcome to Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. I'm Dave. And I'm Rick. And after a long hiatus, we're finally back. That's right. Here we come, ready or not. Yes. So just when you thought it was safe to get back on YouTube, here we are. That's right. Now we're going to fill your minds with a whole bunch of nonsense. And hopefully a little bit of knowledge. Yes. Thank and you. a lot of opinion. So, take that for what it's worth. Um, this issue, we are going to talk about Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Now this is a series that has been out for about, what we up to issue five? Yes. So it's been out for about five months or so, because it is a monthly book. And like half the shit that's out there, and it's all bi-weekly bi -weekly or whatever. It's all so, bi now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, initially there was a uh, run during the uh, Secret Wars, uh, two, that fiasco they had a while back where Doctor Doom made a whole planet and you know they kind of rehashed the uh, original Secret Wars thing but with a different twist and it just turned out to be a mess but one good thing to come out of that was they had a limited series and called Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows where Spider-Man and Mary Jane were still married and they had a eight-year-old daughter so and her name is Manny, right? And so, and of course she has some spider-like abilities like Dad does. And top that off with being an eight-year-old, you just got all kinds of chaos. So. Now how does she get these powers, Dave? Okay, so May is born with the powers, and so therefore um, she's basically a mutant, I guess. And uh, has a lot of spider-like abilities like her dad. And her spider sense is a little bit different than her dad's. And, um, and then... During the original series, they took on a uh, villain called Regent, and where he went around the world kidnapping and and all the uh, superheroes, and then siphoning off their their powers and using them as his own. So therefore, the more superheroes he got, the more powerful he got. And it took Spider-Man to uh, defeat him in that limited series because he uh, had technology to where he could uh, cover his uh, abilities so they couldn't detect him and stuff like that. So that's how he survived that, and was eventually was able to defeat the region. So this story, pick the ongoing story here, picks up after that. So it's a very good story, I think. And in this series, Mary Jane has spider powers that she is siphoning off Spider-Man. Yeah, using the uh, Peter adapted some of the region technology, so. Mary Jane can be a uh, spider woman of sorts, and they yes. give her the name Spinnerette. Yes, and it doesn't sound like any kind of nicotine now, does it? But for what it is, it's pretty cool. So, um, so she gets to go out there and, and um, fight alongside her husband and child, you know, and uh, yes, and the and the kid tags along too. Anyway, um, May's superhero name is Spiderling. So anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thanks, so we got Spider-Man, Spider-Ling, and Spinneret. Yes, we do. So Mary Jane Say that three times Yeah, fast. that's, uh, I thought they would go with Spider-Kid or something like that, but uh, I guess not. But anyhow, so we still have, uh, let's see, where's this? Yeah, first issue. Okay, first issue, um... They basically uh, encounter the Ball Man and some Scorpion. Well, the first issue was told from Spider-Man or Peter Parker's perspective as they go go into battle. The Mole Man mm -hmm. that the Regent, where Regent has been defeated, and he's looking for tech. He's coming up looking for technology, and so the first three books are different perspectives. One from Mary Jane's in the second issue, and the third issue is from May Parker perspective how they each met at this, the Battle of Mole Man at the same time. So they were doing before they got to the battle, for my backstory for each of them. So the first three issues is that, and then in the third issue, it continues on, and they finally defeat the Mole Man. Mm -hmm. And while they're doing this, little Norman Jr. Yeah. sees May and kind of gets a crush on this little spider girl. Yeah, they're both going to the same school, aren't they? Or, or no, he just seen her. He just seen her battle in there because he's looking at the region stuff too. He was there getting oh, region right. technology too. Yeah, and then Norman Jr. here is some sort of little boy genius. So yeah, so he's he's in charge of Oscorp right now. 
And now so, that his dad's dead, that he's this little yeah. ten year old now. He's ten and she's eight. And he wants to know more about this uh, what's her name again? <laughs> Spider Lane. Spider Lane, yes. <laughs> okay, the uh, writer is Jerry Conway, which uh, he's been writing Spider Man and writing comics for decades. Um, artist Ryan Stegman and Sonia Obak is the colorist, so um, very, very well done. I mean, the first issue's got a couple little backup stories in it. Yeah, but no, um, yeah, I'm still not a big fan of the of the catch-up page in the front with all that. Uh, that, that to me, that's a that's a page that should be dedicated to story. I'm not really yeah, happy with the, with the recap yeah, page in the front. If you're that's, paying three nine nine a book, you want all the story you can get. And yeah. If you can't remember from issue to issue, well, that's your fault. So Take medication if you're ADD. <laughs> That's right. Or do it the old Stan Lee way and have a little, little recap along with the, some cool artwork. Yeah. But um, yeah. Then the uh, same team for the next one. But there's a cover of number two. They got uh, Mary Jane as is the main character. Spinneret uh, doing her thing here. So yeah, it was, the story takes. Perspe her perspective and what she's doing during the day before they go out so, and fight. I mean, so, so here's a really cool piece of art here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but Mary Jane just swinging out there like old Peter Parker would and oh, yeah. chicken smash. But this story is really really a family oriented, eggs and cereal and groceries and whatever, and yeah. then if someone becomes a bad villain, and then it gets they all get, sidetracked. They get sidetracked and, and forgets all this stuff. Yeah, so here's some artwork from third, a little bit of a uh, May Parker there taking off. Now you notice she's kind of looking like she's wearing uh, battle armor. Well, you know, being a kid, they make her wear a helmet and knee pads and stuff like that so she doesn't get hurt <laughs> any more than necessary, I guess. Yeah, Since I mean, you're taking your child into a life-threatening situation with battling a well, villain. Well, they really don't want to, but it always <laughs> happens that she gets involved somehow. Yeah, she doesn't listen very well. Probably like most kids are age. So, like in issue five, you know, they all she's wanting to do family night. So they go to something called a bunny, a bunny thing, which has looks like a Chuck E. Cheese, I would imagine. Yeah, something like that. Some. And then next door is a bank, and of course, it's being robbed by Sandman. So. Yeah. And the thing about her spider sense is that her spider sense lets her, her see into the future, like a little bit into the future. So she could see that Spider-Man was going to be at that bank fighting somebody. She didn't see the Sandman, but she tried to tell her parents about her how her spider sense works, and they tried yeah. to understand it. Yeah. So I think this is kind of something new. The way this is a. Uh way I'm reading this to her, you know, her spider sense is kind of giving her premonitions, I guess. Yeah, premonitions. Not too far in advance, but enough. But, but they... enough to kind of give them warning of what may be going on yeah. or something, or so of course somebody's Peter, up to something they shouldn't be. So, so Peter forth. decides to go check out the bank, and you know, she's right. I mean, it's being robbed, and he's in there fighting bad guys. Next thing you know, here comes the Sandman. He thought it was going to be an easy fight, but it's a Sandman. And eventually, Mary Jane and May join him in the... In the yeah. And the scruff, and they're ready to go, and they win so, in the end, of course. But it's it's interesting because you know, if you like a, a family-based comic, I would imagine you would like this one. Yeah, so I'm I'm really enjoying this. I think this is just kind of a. It's probably where Spider-Man probably should have went instead of where it has gone in the main. Well, and this universe, is still a photographer though. I mean, it's not like he's they yeah, have his own tech thing. In this in this universe, he'll have his own tech thing going yeah, on. Yeah, he doesn't have a big corporation. He's not like a junior iron. But he does have this cool little drone that takes pictures of him for the bugle now. Instead of a camera webbed up somewhere getting butt shots, he got this <laughs> drone that follows him around. Yeah, and so they are applying some 2016 technology that we are familiar with. You know, if you have a spot in your rotation, I'd say give it a try. Yeah, I'd give it a thumbs up for sure. I mean, this is one of Marvel's better books right now, I think. And, um, and it's only monthly. And, and it's monthly. So, so and the art is really well done. The story so far has been really, I've really enjoyed it. And uh, I like the family dynamic to it and, yeah. and all that stuff. So I'm not sure what universe, you know, they're supposed to be in since Marvel likes to give every universe some sort of weird number. So. Anyhow, so overall, thumbs up, good story. Uh, give it a shot. I say so too. All right. That's it. Thanks. Good day.